Westchester University. Courtney Richards here and welcome back to another episode of WCU Weekly. Happy fifth week of the semester. Three weeks of in-person classes completed and only a few more to go before spring break. I don't know about you guys, but this change in weather has me really excited for spring on Westchester's campus. WCU has been busy with campus news, events, and more, so let's get into it. On February 16th, students were invited to explore 150 years of WCU's history through ongoing live Zoom lectures. From February 16th to April 19th, students can join seven Zoom programs which focus on our institution's evolution from its earliest days of developing educators to where we are today, preparing students to excel in traditional and emerging industries. If you are interested in registering for these events, you can visit wcufoundation.org for more information. During Black History Month, Westchester University's very own professor, Tammy James, was recognized for her amazing work with the Compass program on CBS3. The Compass program is designed to help undergraduate male, black students succeed. Undergraduates are matched with black grad student mentors, where they monitor students' academic process and help provide them with the resources necessary to succeed. And last but not least, another WCU professor was recognized in the news for his work in the classroom. Mike Roche, a psychology professor here on campus, was interviewed on Fox 29 for his work on understanding narcissism in the digital world in recent years. This definitely sounds like an interesting class to learn about. And that's all for today's campus news. We have an exciting lineup coming for you guys in this week's episode. Up next, we have The Weather with Jamie, The Organizational Highlight with Alyssa, Sports with Callum, and so much more. Jamie? Thanks, Courtney, and hello, Westchester University. My name is Jamie Simons, and I'm here to give you a look at this week's five-day weather forecast. We're starting the week off strong with some partly sunny skies and a high of 57 degrees. There will be a light breeze, and we can expect the temperature to drop to 45 degrees at night. Not too bad. Tuesday, we'll see some clouds in the sky and there will be brief showers all day long. Luckily, we can expect a high of 59 degrees and a low of 54 degrees. Unfortunately, on Wednesday, we will be getting more showers, but mostly in the morning. Throughout the day, you can expect to feel a high of 57 degrees and a low of 35 degrees. Thursday, we continue on with more showers. We have a high of 43 degrees and a low of 36 degrees. Finally, on Friday, we have a high of 45 degrees and a low of 30 degrees. Sadly, there will be more showers, but on the bright side, the temperatures will be fairly high for most of the week. For WCU Weekly, I'm Jamie Simons, and that was your five-day weather forecast. I hope everyone has a great rest of their week and enjoys the nice weather today. Sending it over to Alyssa with the org highlight. Hi everyone, I'm Alyssa here with Warwick Highlight. This week I'm here with Aaron. Hey everybody, my name is Aaron Coleman. I'm the Vice President of Phi Beta Sigma Sorority Incorporated, Lambda Alpha Chapter here on Westchester University. And we have... Hi guys, my name is Sunny Benor and I'm the SGA slash MOAB rep for BSU, which stands for Black Student Union. Wow, all right, so guys, tell us about the event you have going on today. So pretty much, we're talking about all the dark and interesting facts about the N-word that most people don't know. So what we're doing is breaking down the myths and misconceptions of the N-word. Well, thanks for having me, guys. I hope you're doing well. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Come on. All right, everyone. That's it for this week's work highlight. I'm Melissa Baker. Thanks, Alyssa. And hello, Westchester. Welcome back to another amazing sports segment. And I'm your host, Callum. This week coming up, we have quite a lineup for sports here at WCU. On Wednesday, February 23rd, our women's basketball team will be facing Millersville, a away game starting at 5.30 p.m. And afterwards, our men's basketball team will be facing Millersville again at 7.30. On Friday, we have a large lineup. We have softball playing, Salem University at 12.30, and later that afternoon against Glenville State College at 3 o'clock some you don't want to miss. Also happening on Friday night, we have women's gymnastics competing against William and Mary in Williamsburg, Virginia. They will also be competing against your Sinus College this Sunday at 1 p.m. And finally, this weekend is completely jam-packed with sports. We have our women and men's track teams both playing in the PSAC Championship in Edinburgh, PA this weekend. 
Next, our men and women's basketball teams will be competing against East Stroudsburg at 1 p.m. for women's and 3 p.m. for men's, both at home games. So they're ones that you can just walk outside and go to. And you'll probably see Rami on the court. Our women's lacrosse team will also be playing a home game against Mercyhurst at noon this Sunday. And finally, we have baseball against Pace University on Saturday in Philly at 3 p.m. with another two games on Sunday against the University of the Sciences at 11 a.m. and then at 1.30 p.m. But don't forget, that you can find a lot of these games live stream online. All you have to do is go to WCU Athletics page and take the time to just look through them. Or you could take a small trip out of state to Virginia or wherever else uh, our sports teams are playing. Just go out and support our sporty Rams. And that's what we have for this week in sports, and I'll see you all next week with another sports highlight segment. Have a great week, Westchester. Two weeks now, but, it, but it's kind of killing me right now. I've never seen her face. I, I, I wonder what she looks like. Dude, what, what are you doing? Are you okay? What's up? Okay, look, uh, you, you caught me. <laughs> Honestly, Kayla, I've never seen your face. It's kind of bothering me. I've been working with you for two weeks, and and I never saw your face. I, I, I just really need to see you. Come on. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I'm Sherry. I'm Hallie. And we're here with another episode of Church Street Chats. Today, Chris will be going to the street to figure out what's, what's the, the weirdest, weirdest thing, thing you found in, in someone, someone else's, else's home. home. Let's go! Hi, I'm Chris. I'm going to ask people what's the strangest thing they've seen in someone else's house. Let's go. I have a question for you. What's the strangest thing you found in someone else's home? They have 18 rabbits just randomly running around their whole house. God, okay. <laughs> okay. I have a question for you. What's the strangest thing you found in someone else's home? Not mine, but um, my friend went into somebody's home and they had like in the basement, like in Silence of the Lambs. So that's pretty weird. They also collected mannequins, so it that, all adds up. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what's the strangest thing you found in someone else's home? Um, jeez, oh you know like, you know those cats that go like this? Like, you know, well, it was six feet tall, and it was pink. Yes. I don't know what they're called, but you know the... Yeah, that's, that's my answer. <laughs> of course. I would go on. Me too. I have a question for you. Sure. What's the strangest thing you found in someone else's home? Lots of reusable bottles full of water sitting in the bathtub. But like glad like not just water bottles, wine bottles, tequila bottles. Oh I don't think that's water. No, <laughs> probably not, but all in a bathtub. Have a good day guys. You too. <laughs> we sure got a lot of weird answers out there. We did. So Sherry, what's the weirdest thing that you found in someone else's house? If I had to think, 
my friend's mom at the time had like over 50 stuffed animals in her room. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's a wrap for Church Street Chats. And see you next week. And that wraps up this week's episode of WCU Weekly. If you are interested in joining WCU Weekly or WCU Studios, head over to the RAM Connect page and join as a member. If you would like your club or event advertised on our show, please check out our RAM Connect page and fill out the interest form. Thank you for tuning into this week's episode of WCU Weekly. Tune in next week for more campus news, events, and more. Have a great rest of your week, Westchester.